Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use Amazon Cloud Search to upload a large public data set, index it, and deliver a rich search user experience without making a huge investment in search hardware, software, and personnel. Let's say I'm a developer building a new web application to help people build playlists for a special time in their lives. Birthdays, weddings, graduations. Build Your Playlist helps users find songs using free text search, filter the results, then pick songs for their playlist. The nice thing about Amazon Cloud Search is that it's simple to create a search application, so before I spend a lot of time on this, I can create a rapid prototype. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to use about 900,000 song records and more than 5 million genre ratings from the Million Song Dataset, a public dataset available on Amazon Web Services. Certainly a bit more than searching your office docs. Now, before I can even configure the fields that Amazon Cloud Search should be looking at, I need to look at the data and what I want to do with it. I know that I'll need the title, artist, year, and genres for each song. I'm also thinking about how my users will want to narrow down their data, say by year and genre. These fields are called faceted fields, which means that they're set up so the system returns a count of how many documents have a particular value. I'll also need to know what factors I'm going to use to determine relevance. By default, Amazon Cloud Search ranks results based on the text relevance, or the actual search. However, I may want to have other factors lift some documents higher in the results than others. For example, it's more likely that someone's looking for a song from a well-known artist, so I'm going to index the artist familiarity ranking that the Million Song dataset provides and use that to affect rankings. This is a single search data format, or SDF, document, a single result, if you will. We have a globally unique ID value, a version number, and the fields, or name value pairs that actually make up the data. In this case, I'm going to add the document to the system, but when I update a document, I can create requests that make near real-time changes to the index. You can batch documents together into a single SDF file using JSON or XML but I want to avoid submitting a million documents in a single request, so I can break it up into several SDF files and use the command line tools to submit them, or post SDF directly to the document endpoint. Let's take a closer look at indexing options. As you can see, I can easily specify the kind of data for each field, along with other options such as search, which controls how the field is handled for certain advanced queries, facet, which tells the system to create facet counts of specific values in a field, and result, which tells Cloud Search to store the values so you can return it later in a search. In this case, we're creating our general song information field, such as title and song ID, and a multi-valued field for the genre. We're also creating two facet fields, genre and year, for narrowing down the data. Applications access Cloud Search endpoints for content. So first we'll build the URL using the search endpoint the system gave us and a URL encoded version of the requested keyword, along with any other information we need the server to have, such as fields to return or any custom ordering. Because the results come back as JSON data, it's easy to turn them into a PHP object and use that object to display the page. So I can do a search for freedom and we can see the preliminary results. I say preliminary results because we want to give users what they're looking for on the first try if we can, and it's much more likely that the user is looking for a song by, say, Michael Jackson than something obscure. To control the order in which the data appears, we can create a rank expression that incorporates both the text relevance and the contents of the data's artist familiarity field. To use that rank expression, we add it to the request URL as the rank parameter. If we rerun the same search, we now see more familiar titles. So no complicated programming to affect ranking, I just edit the expression to tweak it. Of course, users don't care about all that, they just want to find what they're looking for. Let's say I'm the user, and I'm looking for songs that were playing at my wedding in 1988. I can start by doing a normal free text search for love, and that gives us a set of results, but some of them couldn't possibly have been playing at my wedding because they weren't out yet. So I can click on 1988 to refine my results. 
That takes care of the time issue, but some of these songs still aren't exactly romantic, so I can click on the romantic genre to narrow things down further and get some more likely candidates. And since we're favoring more familiar artists, the more well-known songs are more likely to appear. Now I've shown you how Build Your Playlist accesses Amazon Cloud Search endpoints to request data, which gets returned as a JSON object that I can then use to create a web page. All of the capabilities of Amazon Cloud Search, including faceting and rank expressions, are available to you in that way, making creating a search application really straightforward. This way you can create a powerful search application without being concerned about all of the software and hardware management. For more information on Amazon Cloud Search, go to the URL on your screen.